God, I'm sorry. I will knock you out. Ridiculous fight, giving me this opportunity to fight you. So uh, that should go far there and do what we do and fight and get the best fight win. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's rock. Fighting out of the red corner. He is a Muay Thai fighter, fighting out of Biantan Muay Thai at MMA Gym with one win by way of knockout. Weighing 145 pounds, standing 5 feet 9 inches. Please welcome to the PXC, Rolando Gabriel D. This PXC 28, Rolando Gabriel D. Anna, the Rolando Navarrete, the bad boy from the jungle. Yes, kaya na pasok dito yan dan nagpa-qualify ng uh, PXC. Isa to sa mga sumali at saka very impressive. And expect namin ano siya, boxer style para nga uh, ang mga tatay. Yeah, yeah. Pero hindi pinakita na kami ng ground skills. Nag-submit siya ng mga tao at saka lumaban doon. Pinakit magaling mag-clinch, magaling sumipa, hindi lang amay. Oh. Kasi tugulan niya ang pagiging fighter pero yung evolution nga ng sport from boxing na hindi MMA na siya. Ang katanungan dito eh, kasi he fight like his father. Ayun you know, naman, pag sinabi si Navarrete, he puts it all on the line. Yes, diba? tingin ko dito ang matetest talaga. Good in submission, good Muay Thai, pero untested at this weight class. Yes, ito ang kanyang biggest challenge so far, pero ayun nga, only 21 years old. And our opponent fighting out of the blue corner and fighting out of Spike 22, Ground Fu Guan. Standing 5 feet 10 inches, weighing 145 pounds. Please welcome to the PRC, Elliot Antalan. I see Elliot Antalan, 19 years old, from Guam. One inch ang kanyang tangkad. He goes in chilling, eh, no? Yes. Uh, magandang lakal din ito kasi ito si Elliot Antalan. Very experienced, bata, pero very experienced, pero tingin ko, malaki ang pag-asa ng ating kababayan dito. He is quite calm, ha? Ito si Elliot uh, Antalan. Fighting style niya, MLA. Coming out of Team Spike 22. So, uh, of course, he's come in uh, from a win. And the uh, Elliot Antalan, they are fighting, of course, under the featherweight division. 145 pounds. Ganda ng buhok, Erwin. Yes, a very exciting inaba na to. Kasi, ito si uh, Rolando. Very strong in jiu-jitsu. Sabi nga, nakasparing siya ng uh, isang aking uh, teammate na si Miki Aplan. Sabi, parang doon, alam ang lakas, ang tigas lahat. Wow. At only 21 years old. Here is a joke being brought Strike strong, two years wait at her uh, age advantage, one inch naman sa height. Para kay Elliot Tuntanan, uh, si Orlando D. May ito na konti, pero tingnan mo sa picture. Iba na. <laughs> Parang experience na, kamuha-kamuha ng tatay. No, everything else is the same. MMA versus Muay Thai. Yan Even ang ating yeah. laban na. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, for a lovely round girl, courtesy of HM Philippines, Ayumi Sagawa! Ow! Oh. Appetizer. Very exciting. Yes. Gabriel Dia. Parang chat ni Dia. Pero magandang laban talaga to. Tingnan natin kung nakuha ni attributes sa kanyang tatay. Nasa jeans niya. Tapos tinuro mo pa ng skill and technique. Wider stands. Itong si Rolando Gabriel Dia. Itong naka black trunks. Si Elliot Puntala naman. Eh, naka white trunks. Philippines versus Guam. Oh, beautiful shot. Ngayon po lang nakakita yung ganun tayo ha. Naaalala ko yung kay, kay Chuck Nidal nga, tayong ganun. If it's wider like that, Erwin, ba't ganun? Uh, ano siya, counter puncher. Para, para open yung uh, face niya, para kung sakit wala ka, ready siya counter. Good takedown by Elliot. Si Rolando D, getting very active, you know. Okay, tatman, uh, alam natin na pag galing Guam, magaling sa ground. So tingnan natin ang depensa dito ni Elliot. So far, okay yung kanyang ginagawa. Securing the Kimura lock. Yung sabi niyan, ready siya mag-figure for kung ma malakas lang talaga si uh, Rolando at magulat ito si Elliot. Pwede niya submit ito kanyang kalaban. Pero ang counter ni Elliot dito, pinapatungan niya yung sabi niya ng kamay. Kasi pag hindi niya pinatungan niya, pwedeng itaas ni 
Hero Landing uh, kanyang kamay para ma chicken wing figure four niya so ginagawa ni Elliot yung pinapatulong ngayon ng, ng hips at legs ikaw yung arm strength na itong si Rotando yeah. eh. yes. relax na relax lang siya eh. he's, he's not panicking no, pero lamang na dito ngayon si Elliot na lang nasa side control na ang ginagawa dito ni uh, Rolando, uh, kumakapit, siguro bumubuelo siya para makaalis dito mamaya. Pero so far, nasa magandang position dito si Elliot yung talan. Ano ang dapat dito gawin ni, ni Rolando sa mga ganyan? Ayan, uh, nag-attempt siya mag-bridge and roll, tapos bumalik siya sa guard, pero uh, alam ni uh, Elliot ang uh, kanyang gagawin. Pero ang side control now, sir. Nasa mouth na ito si uh, Elliot. You just go for ground and town there. So, ah, uh, sa ground uh, technique or level, nakikita natin na medyo lamang ng konti ito si Elliot kasi hindi siya nahihirapan mag-pass o hindi siya nahihirapan pumunta dyan sa mount position na yan. Malalaman mo pag medyo evenly match yung uh, dalawang pa ito sa ground, pag hindi ka basta makakapunta sa ganyang position sa mount. Yung mga explosion to si Rolando? Useless, sayang eh. Nag-jerk oh. lang siya tatlong beses, apat. Kahit sampung beses na gawin yun, hindi makakaalis. Kasi mali yung technique. So he should turn to the side, no? To turn Rolando, to the side, then... tapos get the half guard first, and then from there, pwede siya mag-work ng guard. Kasi pag naka-half guard ka na tsaka guard, meron ka na magagawa mga sweep na technique. Dito so far, wala kang magagawa. Puro power. Pero pag uh, yun nasa taas mo, alam na yung uh, counter sa lalo na pagpalakas yung mga kalaban, experience na ang sinasabi nila, eh medyo alam na ni Elliot kung talagang gagawin dito sa top position. Kasi nagang nakalak talaga na si Elliot eh, on DB to na, parang gagam ba? Oh, yes, kasi dapat nang gawin ni Rolando dito, itulak yung tuhod ni Elliot para bumukas, tapos ipapasok ni Rolando yung kanyang legs doon para maka-half guard siya. Of course, uh, Rolando Gabriel D, not much uh, tested sa weight class na to, umangat siya ng konti. You will see, oh, eto! Why did he give this back? He's setting him up for rear neck choke, pero ayan! Tapos tinataas mo pa yung paka niya, di ba? Dapat yun, you tuck in your, uh, your chin. Uh, mukha lang yung tinataas kasi yung ginagawa niya na pwede yung counter, is sinasandal niya lahat ng weight niya habang nakahiga. Oh. Nagbe-bridge siya kaya parang naka-neck up siya. Pero pag magkatabi yung uli na naka-neck up, hindi ka naman pwede yung choke. Eh. So, so far, ngayon, uh, nakasight sila. Yeah. Very, they're back at it. Two steps ahead to si Elliot. Every time na may gusto ng encounter to si Rolando. Huling, huling ni Elliot. Magaling. Okay, ito ang pinapakita ni Elliot kung talan. We have a minute and 22 to go. Plenty of time. Hindi naman napatangin to si Rolando. Gabriel D. Yes, so far. Wala pa naman siyang ginagawa. Talagang effort. Wala namang damage na gagawa sa kanya so far. Lamang lang naman sa position. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good setup, good setup. Good set up na Cho, pero mukhang malakas itong leverage itong set. Pero tap na, tap na. Oh my goodness, it is over! Technically, lumas na lang talaga sa guys. Elliot Puntalan. Elliot Puntalan is the winner. Ground game. Just took him to school. Kung si Rolando Gabriel D, the son of Rolando Navarrete. Guam improves his record. Winner by submission in the round number one. We turn you over to Joey Lopez. Welcome. How's it feel to be a pro in the PXC first leg in the Philippines? Uh, feels good. I, I trained really hard for this. Uh, Rolando's a great opponent. He, you know, he uh, took the fight, gave me this opportunity to fight him, and uh, I, I just hop in to finish him. 